What's up, freaks? It is Steve Says, episode number 65. It seems like we got cut off there, so we're going to just pick up right where we left off. Right where we left off, and it actually gives you a, a couple more seconds to figure it out. Someone's going to win a copy of this book right here. And it'll give you another second so I could do reintroduce this episode. So today is all about one single word. One single word. And basically, what is the one thing that leads the way for everything in life that everyone can have right now? As I pull you up on the second screen, because I do need to see who's the first one that's going to give me the correct answer. Because we did get cut out. All right, so we are going to keep rolling. So we're still not there. Adaptation, no, none of those words. Awesome, awesome words that you're coming up with down there. But none of them are going to win this book because none of them are possible without this. So I'm going to go back into it, give you those hints again. And basically, what is the one thing and why you need it? Who can get it? And how do you get it? Do you have this one thing? So I'll give you an extra little second to try and figure it out. Steve says, is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. And a reason, no, none of this stuff still can't exist without this top thing. I'm trying to stall. We got cut out. Our, our, we, we, the show got cut out. We had to start all over again. So it gave you a chance. So we're going to have to give it. I'm going to have to move forward in a second. Who wants to win this book? Copy of Man Up by Bedros Koulian. Who wants it? I have this book to give away. Someone come and take it. So what's the word? What's the word? This can mean an activity or an exercise or a regimen that develops or improves a skill or training. It could mean willpower. It could mean practice, development, preparation, self-control, self-command. Come on, any more fucking clues? And I'm going to say the word for you. Self-constraint. It could be just your method of doing stuff. Self-control. Cultivation. I'm giving the answer in like two seconds if no one answers it. I'm going to take a sip of water. Routine. So close. But you can't have a routine. You even cannot have routine without this. We got to move on. We got to move on. It's like 10 seconds. I know there's a couple seconds delay there. So we got to move on. If you can't get this, we will move on and no one's going to get it. What is it? What is it? Anything. Nothing exists or will last without this. Nothing. Nothing. This is like what causes this. This is the creator of no excuses. This even no excuses cannot exist without this of what we're talking about a plan no it's so easy when i say it you're going to be pissed off because you missed out on your chance to win this book no uh, this book man up so what is the word i'm counting to five and then it's going to go four if no one says it i know we have a delay three two one we need to roll i don't see the answer there our word and you're gonna be so pissed you hear it is freaking Discipline. Discipline is our word. Discipline, basically, I gave you all those textbook definitions of what discipline was. That's what di discipline is in the dictionary. Training to act in accordance with rules or, or to drill or a drill, an activity or an exercise or regimen that develops or improves a skill or training, willpower, self-control, cultivation, self-command, self-constraint, all those different things, preparation. Basically, you know, Steve says is always going to have a peak freak size definition of something of discipline. Basically, the Steve says definition of discipline. It's the mother of the of the world. It's the fucking creator of everything. Discipline. You, you cannot do anything without discipline. Nothing. Nothing exists without discipline. And sim when it comes down to it, it's fucking simple. Discipline. All it is. This is why you can have it right now. So I don't want to hear the bullshit about, oh, you're just a crazy Marine, so you just have discipline. I wasn't born with that shit. Discipline is a decision. It's a decision you can make right now, right this second, to start having discipline. We're going to go over steps how to really do that and build it up. Because nothing exists or lasts without freaking discipline. Nothing. 
Discipline is no excuses. It's, it's, you know, you could say, oh, it's too hard, or I don't have time, something costs too much, it's too fucking hot out, it's too cold, it's too windy, it's too sunny, it's too dark, it's too light, it's too bright, it's too early, it's too late. All this bullshit are excuses, but what is causing them is just a lack of fucking discipline. That's it. So no excuses is, no, is discipline. It's like hand in hand. Discipline is simply sticking to the fucking mission until it's accomplished. The, the number one in the Marine Corps, the number one leadership objective is mission accomplishment. And it can't be done without discipline. Stick into the mission until it's accomplished. Putting the mission above everything else, including yourself. That's fucking discipline. But it's the decision you make to have that discipline. You have to decide, I'm going to be fucking disciplined. To put the mission above everything, including yourself, takes a lot. It takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of freaking discipline. That's what it takes. Discipline means not just, of course it means getting your shit together, but getting your shit together is fucking easy. But... So getting your shit together is easy. I'm just looking at your comments down there. Getting your shit together is easy. But to keep your shit together day after day after day after day on a daily basis, that's fucking discipline. Eating healthy is easy for a fucking day. Working out is easy for a fucking day. But to do it every day, like clockwork, without even almost thinking, just living it because you decided to have some freaking discipline. Discipline to me, is what are you doing when no one else is watching? It's easy to go do shit when you're at work and your, your boss or manager or whatever is watching. That shit's easy. That shit's fucking easy. That's just, you're just barely surviving. Surviving, that's surviving. To, you, when you, to do what you're doing just because someone else is watching, that's survival. But to thrive, to fucking dominate, is to have discipline in when no one else is watching. That's how you fucking dominate. That's what discipline is. What are you doing those other 23 hours a day you're not in the gym? What are you doing those other, other days when no one's watching? The rest of the day when there's no one hovering over your shoulder to fucking babysit you and hold you by the hand. When it comes down to it, you can't be a good leader. You can't even be a good fucking follower without discipline. You have to have good discipline just to follow a good leader. It requires discipline. Discipline's the fucking mother of everything. Discipline leads the way in everything. It's the fucking... Discipline is the solution to everything, as you could see in these examples I'm giving you. You can't be a good role model without discipline. Not to your kids. Of course, your kids want to be a good role model, right? You're not going to be a good role model without discipline. They see your, your fat, lazy ass just sitting on a couch, picking, picking, picking junk out of your belly button while you're telling them to go do this and go do that. You think they're going to respect that shit? Discipline equals respect to your kids, to your team, to your family, to your neighbors, to your parents. To, to anyone, and to, even to people you might not even know that are influenced by you, that you don't even know you're an influence now, that they're looking up to or they want to look up to you. Being a role model. I'm talking about role model. It's all about being a role model. I strive to be a role model to my kids, but then to realize that there's people out there who are in the same situation that need to be a role model to their kids or to people in their circle. So I need to be a role model to those people, even though you don't even know they're fucking watching you. That's discipline. Having those high standards and expectations of yourself when no one else is watching. Especially when your kids are watching. When your family, your team, your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, that's, that's, when, that's easy. But having that high standards and expectations when no one is watching. Or maybe you think no one's watching, but you might have some followers out there, some people who look up to you. And you just start fucking bullshitting and you're letting those people down. You owe it to them and you owe it to yourself to have some fucking discipline. Discipline means controlling your freaking emotions. When you get angered and pissed off. Sure, you want to punch someone in the fucking face sometimes. Trust me, I go through it every day. And the word discipline saves me having many people's teeth lodged in my fucking knuckles. I don't want to have that shit again. That shit ain't, isn't fun. It fucks you up. It fucks up your workouts. Because I like to do push-ups on my knuckles. It's hard to do push-ups on your fucking knuckles. You have some asshole's teeth lodged in your fucking knuckles. Not that it ever happened. I just heard about it. I heard, I heard of stories about it. Allegedly, allegedly. So controlling your anger and your anxiety you always, or anything that someone tells you or comes up and, and, and tells you about, you always feel the need to have a comeback. Discipline is letting go of your fucking ego and letting that shit slide because who gives a fuck? Discipline is not giving a fuck 
about stupid shit that's not affecting you, that is not in line with your vision and your path. That's discipline. Discipline is not giving a fuck. See how deep this shit goes? Just the word, one single word? And this is why we never even did a show on this, on Steve Says, because it's so, it seems so broad, but it's so narrow and fucking deep that you, I, I could sit here for, I could sit here for two straight days without sleeping, without taking a break, just going on and on and on about discipline. So we're just going to hit the major points. Discipline is taking ownership of your freaking actions and not relying on all those bullshit excuses or relying on a scapegoat, looking someone else to blame, looking for a reason why you did it. The second you think that there's something coming after you or some, something that's intended for you, discipline is not having to automatically defend yourself. That's fucking discipline. Not needing to have a comeback, not needing to rely on excuses. Or blaming someone else. That's discipline. Discipline is knowing. Discipline is knowing what pushes your buttons. Like what gets you fucking pissed off to the bone where you could just bash a motherfucker's head in. You know what what, what those buttons are that cause that for you. Discipline is knowing what fucking buttons can be pushed on you and just not letting them get pushed. That is discipline. Some deep shit. Knowing yourself so well. The things that cause you to just flip and want to snap a motherfucker's neck, but not letting those buttons be pushed. Again, just not giving a fuck. Sometimes it might just mean as simple discipline can mean simply just this. Sometimes you just need to shut the fuck up. Control your damn communication and your reactions to everything, overreacting. Everything's a fucking drama and a stress and crazy and a fucking whirlwind. Get your head out of the fucking sand, get out of the weeds, come up into the clouds, come up to your fucking dreams. That's discipline. Controlling your reactions and your emotions and your communication. Sometimes it means controlling the communication that's going inside your head. That self-talk that goes on, we all have it. That self-doubt all the time. I was at an event recently, Jordan Steiner was speaking. He's one of the biggest sports memorabilia entrepreneurs in the world he's the one that like chopped apart the old yankee stadium and sold like bits and pieces of it he bought the old yankee stadium and like sold it he's written a couple of books he said you need to revoke the right of that 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 little voice in your head everyone's got it you have it going on all day that little motherfucker sometimes won't shut the fuck up you need to drown him out you need to jordan he said that you need to revoke its right to have a vote like listen you little motherfucker you can't tell me what to do You don't even have the right to vote. Get out of there. That's discipline. Shutting that little motherfucker up that's in your head because it all comes in your head. That's why I said, this is the mother of everything. This is more that you can't have any of those other words that you were talking about that you thought we're going to talk about. So you can't have any of them without freaking discipline. It's just impossible. You can't have it. So discipline really means it's the same thing as discipline and self-discipline because it goes in hand in hand. You could see all this has to do with yourself. All that has to do with you, no one else. No one can't give you discipline. No one can serve you discipline, hand you over some fucking discipline. It all comes in yourself. John Wooden, one of the the greatest coaches of all time, said, discipline yourself so no one else has to. Think about that. Discipline yourself so no one else has to. Can't rely on someone else. No one else is going to discipline you. Maybe the police or a fucking judge is going to discipline you. We're talking about a different type of discipline. Fucking lock your ass up, throw your crazy ass in jail, maybe. So this stuff, it's it's so tied closely to character when you think about it. Like discipline is discipline is what creates your character. When we're talking about a good character, at least. Like the Marine Corps values. Marine Corps' core values are honor, courage, and commitment. Operating with integrity. Those are those are the core values, honor, courage, and commitment. And it takes discipline to have that stuff. So don't tell, but don't tell me that, oh, it's just because you were in the military. Anyone can have discipline. You just have to make the freaking decision. Discipline could be an in, co- in combat in the military, but also in just in life in general. Discipline is knowing which battles to fight, when to fight them, how to fight them, know when to fucking hold them and when to fold them. The difference between fight and flight, sometimes just keep it moving. Sometimes go the other direction. Sometimes go that way instead of that way. Fight or flight. Know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Having the discipline to know when to fight the battles and when not to. When to fucking walk away. That's discipline. That's not being a little bitch. That's discipline. How many times in my life I could have had an excuse and a reason 
just to smash a motherfucker's head in? A lot. A lot. And I'll tell you, the old me probably would have taken advantage of those. But the new me has some fucking discipline to just say, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I'm a little bitch. Later. I'm out. So one of the, one of the answers was motivation. Someone said motivation. And that's a huge one. But motivation versus discipline. What wins? Discipline wins. You can't have motivation. Motivation comes and goes. Discipline is there. You can't have motivation without discipline. It just, it just doesn't exist. Discipline sets the tone and the structure for everything in your fucking life. It is your character. It makes you who you are. It molds you into who you are. And it also, having the discipline to even think out into the future and visualize the future is molding who you even you're going to become. You need to have discipline of your mind, discipline of your, of your body, discipline in your nutrition, in your business, in your family. You need discipline in all areas of life. It controls everything in your mind. You need to control your thoughts and not influence by, out, by outside negativity or the, the, the standards of you know, conforming to the society of what everyone else wants you to do, even what your own fucking parents want you to do. Or you know, discipline is also then, all right, so you're having those thoughts, you're having those those goals and dreams, you're visualizing it. Discipline is, is being able to not just sit on that shit and thinking about it and visualizing it. Discipline is getting off your fucking ass and taking action. That's discipline. With your body, we said it already, get your ass off the couch. Move, move. Discipline is just move. Action. Energy. Discipline is fucking energy. Nutrition. You know what you... You don't even need discipline for nutrition. It's such bullshit, okay? It's bullshit. Oh, I had a bad weekend. No, you didn't have a bad weekend. You chose to eat shit. You made the decision in your head that I'm going to go eat this shit. This shit is more important to me than being a role model to my kids, being a role model to my grandchildren, having fucking energy. You made that decision. You don't have a moment of weakness. That's bullshit. You might have not had your discipline, of course. If you had your discipline, there's no such thing as a moment of weakness. You had fucking discipline. You know what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. When it comes to eating a fucking maple, maple double, double Whopper, fucking maple, double double cheeseburger, whatever the fuck that shit is called. You can't blame ignorance on that stuff when you're eating that shit. Discipline in work and your career and your business. None of that stuff happens or survives or has any success without discipline. Your family. Discipline rules the family. Of course you have to have discipline. You have to have rules and ways that you operate even in your family. But... At even a higher level, the discipline is what makes you a role model to your freaking kids. Makes you a role model to your brothers and sisters. Makes you a role model to your freaking parents even. Be a role model to your parents. They might have taught you all fucked up ways. Time to flip the switch on that shit with some discipline. You need to be thinking, playing the long game in all these areas of fitness, nutrition, business, family. Play the long game. Discipline is the long game. You can't go eat healthy one day. And then afterwards, they say, oh my God, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still overweight. You can't go to the gym one day and be like, oh my God, I'm still flabby. I'm fucking flabby. I'm not going to the gym anymore. It's the long game. It's the discipline. Again, I told you, it's easy to do it one time. That's not discipline. That's a one fucking time thing. Discipline is doing it day after day after day. Having the long game in mind on your body, your nutrition, your business, your family. You got to think long game. Abraham Lincoln said, discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. And that's thinking in the long game. So what you want now, sure, you want to eat this nasty fucking food because some, some grown men are on TV flipping a ball around in the mud for, for millions of dollars. So you use that as an excuse to eat a whole bunch of pile of shit because you are choosing right now between what you want right now and what you want most. Is that what you want most? I doubt it. I doubt it. And you're going to regret it. You're going to be getting not having discipline. Go, you want to go watch some stupid fucking game? Watch it with some discipline of, of bringing your own shit, bringing your own healthy food, not having to eat a bunch of shit. And I don't, don't give me that stuff, oh, you need to live a little bit. Motherfucker, I am living a little bit. I'm living a lot of it, actually. Discipline, but when it comes down to it, like all these other habits and stuff we talk about, discipline is like a muscle. You need to train it every freaking day. You need to get your reps in. The more you train it, the fucking stronger it gets. It becomes impenetrable. You can go to any football game in the world. All the kind of wings and nachos and bullshit, blubber, fat, bacon, bullshit, food is not going to affect you. It's not going to break through. You built up the muscle. You have the armor. So how do you train discipline? Starts off so simple. 
structure. It starts with a little bit of structure, a little bit of habits, little rituals that you start with that set the tone and give you discipline everywhere you go. There's something going on around the internet about some general, I think maybe he's a Navy SEAL general, I don't even know, about how to succeed in life or something. I think it was a, a speech he was given to a college graduation or something, and he said, make your bed. I mean, that's uh, in the military. That's the first thing. You would fucking wake up. You make your fucking bed. And it's just, a, it's really just significant of everything in your day, having discipline and having structure, being organized, being in control of freaking everything. That's what it's about. That's why you're doing it. You're not making it because you need a fucking bed made. It's just saying those habits, saying those tones for the day subconsciously that you have your shit together and you're going to get your shit together every single day, days in a row. All your shit's ready and structured. Other than making your bed, have a morning ritual. Know exactly what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, what order you're going to do with it, how you're going to get your shit going in the morning. I could tell you up to the minute, up to the fucking minute, I could tell you what I'm doing from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday, and then even from 3 p.m., it's a little more broad, but I could tell you literally up to the minute in 15-minute increments, sometimes in five-minute increments, what I'm doing from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m. I can tell you where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing, who I'm going to be with, what I'm going to be talking about. Set rituals, set structure. That's discipline. That's how you start creating these, getting your reps in of your discipline. How else? Be on time for everything you're doing. What does on time mean? It means be 15 fucking minutes early. If you're on time, you're late. First of all, if you're late, that's inexcusable. If you're on time, you're late. If you're 15 minutes early, then you're on time. In the Marine Corps, we used to say 15 minutes prior to 15 minutes prior it means you better fucking get there earlier than early, just in case, because who knows what's going to happen. You're playing just for 15 minutes. Now something happens that normally you get there 15 minutes early that makes you now only get there three minutes early. Now you're fucked up. You don't have that 15 minutes early. So if you want to get there 15 minutes early, you better be out planning to be there 15 minutes earlier than the 15 minutes early. And also in the Marine Corps, the lower the rank, that, that multiply that 15 minutes times 15 times 15, depending on how far down the line you were. So set the, get, get there early. Make your fucking bed. Get there extra early. Be fucking prepared. Schedule your day out. Know what you're doing each hour of the day. In order of priority. Prioritize your freaking day. These are all little muscle building ways to build up your fucking discipline muscles. Have preparation. Prepare for everything. Prepare your battle plan for everything. And then have a contingent, contingency plan. Think of every possible way that something can change or go off or swing your day. How are you going to deal with it to make sure you stay on course? You stay on course, your fucking target. What are you going to do? Discipline is knocking out the peaks and the valleys and nice, strong, steady, smooth. Not getting too happy on the highs. Not getting low on the lows. Cutting off those tips of the peaks and the valleys so you can be strong and smooth. That's fucking discipline. Straight line is discipline. You get too high, you get too all high and happy and almighty. Guess what? You get become complacent. And complacency kills. Another Marine Corps term. Hold the, and then those valleys out of there. You need to hold the line during those fucking tough times. Staying calm and controlled and focused no matter what, no matter how much shit life is throwing you at a time. Calm and controlled. Fucking straight line. Smooth. Smooth. That is discipline. Discipline is being congruent with who you are. Or who you claim to be. Discipline is not going. What is discipline not? Discipline is not being a fucking fraud. Is, you know, you could preach all the shit about, you know, what you do or whatever. But you got to live congruent with that. You can't go on Facebook talking about, oh, I hate people that gossip. And meanwhile, you're gossiping like a motherfucker to everyone at, at your work and at home and everywhere else after you just run on Facebook because you did a picture on Facebook, a video on Facebook saying, oh, I gossip or saying, oh, support women, uplift each other, ladies, uplift each other. And then meanwhile, you're going around behind every bitch's back and talking shit about them. That's a fake ass motherfucker. That's a whole nother section, but that's the opposite of what discipline is because you're not congruent with who you really are, are and who you're claiming to be. Or talking about all this positivity and all these positive motivational things and then Everyone knows that you're just, it's just fake. Or people probably don't even know it, but that's, but you know it, you know it. That is not discipline. Have fucking discipline. So self-discipline, self-discipline, you need to, to think about it. And people can, you, people can smell a fraud or an imposter, a fucking hypocrite. Do you know that people are more forgiving of fucking criminals than they are of hypocrites or imposters or whatever? 
So you need to be congruent with who you are. Have some discipline to stay on track of who you fucking are. People can smell a fucking loser. They can smell a loser from a mile away. And when it comes to discipline, probably there's people around you that are going to be telling you, oh, you're too hard on yourself. You're too hard on yourself. You need to live a little bit, this and that, blah, 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 motherfucking blah. You need to be harder on yourself. You're probably not hard enough on yourself. I'm, I can't stand those fucking people just because they, they, they see you being so structured and disciplined. Oh, you need to loosen up a little bit. You're too uptight. Motherfucker, no, I'm not. Yes, I am living a lot of bit. You need to be hard on yourself. You need to be hard on yourself. Actually, you need to be harder on yourself. I guarantee you're not hard enough on yourself. You think, oh, you're so hard on yourself. Why? Because mommy and daddy told you you're being too hard on yourself? When is enough going to be enough? What more do you have to do? How much more do you have to do? A lot fucking more. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to the people around you. You owe it to the people that you are role modeling the way for. You're too hard on yourself. I never met a motherfucker that's too hard on himself. All I meet is people who are not hard enough on themselves. Need to fucking be harder on themselves. So the opposite of discipline is winging it. Just going day to day with no plan, no strategy, no structure, no process. because, Or just being complacent. Thinking that they're just good enough. Good enough. Your parents tell you that you're good enough. Oh, that's good enough. That's good enough. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything more. Fuck that. That just gets you to be complacent. And I already told you, complacency kills. You can, can, can being disciplined be hard at times? Fuck yeah, it can be. But so can living a, an ordinary life or living a life of a fucking fraud. That's a lot more hard than just having discipline to not eat some fucking nacho fries at a fucking football game. Discipline can be hard, sure. Life's gonna suck. Life sucks all the time, right? Embrace the suck factor. Extract the juices of fucking positivity, the juices of the lessons you can learn out of the suck factor. The suck factor is gonna be there every day. You're not gonna be able to avoid it. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. The suck factor is there. It's there right now. Embrace it. Come on, motherfucker. Bring it on. Bring it on. Because I have the discipline to embrace it, to not crumble, to tackle that motherfucker head on, to bob, to weave, to take out the good points of it, to learn from it. And turn a pile of shit into fucking gold. That's how what happens when you embrace the suck factor. Discipline is the long game. I told you that. It's the long game. Discipline. It, I saw it in a book recently. I think it was Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. But I know I've heard it before. It's an older saying. That discipline is freedom. Discipline is freedom to live life on your own fucking terms. F- freedom from wasting time. From energy sucking time vampires. Freedom from negativity and negative people. Discipline is the freedom to say no to shit you don't want to do. Discipline is the freedom to have peace of mind that you know that you can figure anything out because you have the discipline to do it and you're going to do it and you're going to hold the fucking line. Your level of success will never outgrow your level of discipline. Your level of finances will never outgrow your level of discipline. Your freaking happiness will never outgrow your discipline. So your discipline needs to be there and needs to be growing and needs to be trained and needs to be fucking nurtured. Your personal development will never outgrow your discipline. Nothing in your life will outgrow your discipline. Discipline equals freedom. Discipline is structure. Discipline is success. Discipline is leadership. Discipline equals fucking happiness. Discipline equals confidence. It equals action and energy. Discipline is fucking life. Operate to dominate. Operate with complete freaking discipline. Because you are fucking awesome. No excuses.